Lovelies, it's Busy Girl here, back again with another video. So I know I've been MIA for a couple of weeks, and you guys, I'm very, very sorry, but I'm back again here at it. And the only reason why is because I've been super busy. I started something new, and I have been putting a lot of my attention to it, and I promise that I will definitely share it with you in an upcoming video. Uh, but today, we are going to be talking about um, tips and tricks on how to maintain your curly hair. Just pretty much how to get that definition and just all of these tricks that I've learned and picked up throughout the years with my curly hair journey. So if you wanna know all that, stay tuned. So before we get started, I just wanted to say a warm welcome hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm super stoked to have you. And then welcome back to all my originals. I'm so happy to be catching up with you guys and just talking about hair. So let's just jump right into my tips and tricks. The first tip that I wanna talk about with you guys is super important. And if you don't have this, um, I think you should try and see if it works out for you. Um, because you know, you never know, it might be beneficial. Um, so tip number one, one is make sure you try to have at least a scheduled routine for your wash days. Now, what I mean is if you wash your hair three times a week, you know, stick to that schedule, right? Because then you have a routine. So for example, my schedule, it consists of what, you know, works for me and how I um, go on throughout the week. And then I don't forget when the last time I washed my hair. So my wash day it consists of me washing my hair on Mondays um, and I wash my hair every three days out of the week. So I'll do a full wash day on Monday. So that's shampoo, conditioner. Sometimes I have to clarify it. Sometimes I have to use purple shampoo. It just depends on when the last time I used a certain product. So I, for example, this Monday or the Monday that just passed, I washed my hair just a regular wash day. I used a shampoo, conditioner, and then all my curl products. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, okay, um, I refreshed. Thursday night, I washed my hair. Now, because I've already shampooed and conditioned my hair on Monday, on Thursday night, I will co-wash. So what that means is I'll just use a conditioner and I'll use one of those scalp scrubbers to make sure that all that buildup has been removed from my hair uh, and that my scalp is clean after I've washed it. Um, after I co-wash, I put my regular products in again, so I'll use my um, curl cream, my gel, and all that other stuff. Uh, sometimes I use leave-in conditioner on my co-wash days because I want it to be a little bit moisturized. So just depending on how you want to do it, but that's how my schedule um, is. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday passes by, Monday morning, I wash my hair again and do a full wash day routine. I feel like if you stick to a schedule, it's beneficial because then your scalp is healthy, right? And then your hair is being cleaned and then you don't forget when the last time you wash your hair. So if you guys do a schedule routine, I definitely wanna know how you do it. So um, definitely leave a comment. Tip number two, do not be afraid to brush your hair, you guys. And when I say do not be afraid to brush your hair, you want to make sure you're brushing it correctly. The only time you ever brush your hair is when it's wet. So you brush your hair, well, so when I brush my hair, I brush my hair in the shower when I'm rinsing out the conditioner. So that way there's no tangles. Um, and then I get out of the shower, I'll put in my detangling spray or I'll put in my curl cream and then I'll brush my hair with a big brush with wide bristles and I'll just brush it and make sure there's absolutely no tangles before I put in my gel. Now you want to do this because that way your hair doesn't get matted throughout the whole entire week um, or before your co-wash day. Now I actually never used to brush my hair after I got out of the shower because I thought that it would mess up my hair but I started brushing my hair and it has helped tremendously you guys. So brush your hair only when it's wet and before you put on gel. Tip number three. Now, I have said this a couple times already, and I actually have a full video on how to do this, but if you don't have this in your hair care routine, I definitely recommend it. And I'm talking about deep conditioning your hair, you guys. I know it's just like a lengthy process and it just seems so tedious, but if you actually deep condition your hair at least twice um, a month, uh, what, every two weeks, 
you will see the difference of how your hair will feel. Um, you know, it just retains um, moisture better on your hair. Um, it doesn't leave it dull. It makes your hair super soft. And if you don't know what type of um, deep conditioning treatment you should use, um, I use the Maui Moisture. I have been using that for um, a couple years now and it has it is my go-to deep conditioning treatment. And you need to definitely just schedule a day where um, you do this because you know you have to leave the deep conditioning treatment in your hair for at least 15 minutes. Uh, just depending on what type of product you got. But I usually leave mine for 15, 20 minutes at the most, and I'll also curl train it. So that way, while my hair is sitting in the deep conditioner, it's also um, remembering the curl pattern of my hair. So if you don't have it, definitely recommend it. Tip number four, make sure that before you go to sleep, you are protecting your curls. Now, I have used many, many, many bonnets, you guys, and they seem to not work for me. They always just come off in the middle of the night because I must be a super rowdy sleeper. Um, so to fix that problem, I bought a satin pillowcase, and that has helped me tremendously. And now when I refresh my hair the next day, it's not so much to work with. You want to make Make sure that you tie your hair up in a very high high ponytail and you can use either a scrunchie or um, one of these guys um, and this actually helps me with volume so I use this more than the actual scrunchie uh, but just tie it up above your head and then go to sleep and use your satin pillow and then that way you don't have any issues when you're trying to fix it the next day now I don't recommend using one of those tight elastic um, hair bands uh, to protect your hair because that is going to be a little too tight on your hair, which is going to be actually damaging to your scalp. So definitely use either a scrunchie or one of these guys. So we are getting down to the last and final tip of this video. Before I continue, if you guys found this video informative, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely leave a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Tip number five. So I recommend that you get a haircut at least twice a year. Our hair doesn't grow out as fast as straight hair people do. So we can cut our hair at least twice a year. You also want to make sure that you find a stylist that knows how to cut and style curly hair. That way, um, they can follow your natural curl pattern. Um, if you can't find one, definitely Google um, for a hairstylist. You can also ask for some recommendations. Um, and you can actually even go to like an Ulta store. Uh, there's people who cut hair there. You can ask them specifically if they know a stylist that knows how to cut and style curly hair. That way, you don't have split ends, your hair grows naturally, and your hair is healthy. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you guys Guys, again enjoyed this video definitely don't forget to leave a comment and I cannot wait to catch up with you guys again till next time take care bye